Welcome to this equipment review and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing this which is the Manfrotto 502 fluid head. Before we get into that, I just wanted to show you both these heads. So this is the head that I used to use, which is a gimbal head, the Movo GH700, which I've recommended to a lot of people, and I still recommend it now. This is the new fluid head I'm gonna be reviewing today. So you can just see kind of the size difference there. Um, this one, much longer. I've taken the handle off the fluid head. You see this one's much longer. This is still chunky, but I guess it takes up a little bit less space. Just to give you an idea there of the size difference between the two. Uh, the weight is about 1.6, 1.7 kilos for this head and I compared it with the gimbal which was interesting because I thought this was going to be heavier and when I put them both on the bathroom scales they were virtually identical, pretty much the same weight so I had no issues there with increased weight. One of the things I really love about this head is it has this really really wide base here. Uh, I find that really really stable to put your lens on. So it will actually come with a plate and then the plate will go onto the bottom of your lens, onto the lens foot and then it slides in there. So you kind of slide it in and then I'll use this little knob here to uh, make sure it's fully secure and then when you want to take it out you'll slide it back out but you have to press this little catch there's a little catch mechanism here uh, and to get the lens back out you have to press that that's like a safety mechanism so that the lens can't fall out backwards I actually like to make sure that the camera and the lens is nicely balanced on the tripod head so yes you can lock it which I'm going to come to later in the video but I'd rather get it balanced if I can I just think it's safer um, so if I make sure it's unlocked, if I leave it like now, you'll see it's just going to fall backwards because the lens is not actually balanced on the tripod head correctly. So all I'm going to do to alter that with the little, the little screw we've used there to lock it in place, undo that and I'm just going to shift the weight forward and you'll see, there we go, that's it. So it's not locked but it's balanced. Tighten that down, I know it's balanced, I think it's much safer that way. This is a fluid head and you can adjust the degree of tension that you want to your liking. So for the panning orientation, which is this way, we've got this here, this, this bright red metallic bit. If we turn that, that'll alter how much tension we've got. So if we go in this direction to the minus to uh, reduce the tension to reduce the drag, you'll see how free it is. It's just like crazy free. If I go in the other direction, turning it to the plus to increase the tension, to increase the drag, there we go. Now you see I'm still applying quite a bit of pressure here, but it's moving much more slowly. So it's still nice and smooth, uh, it's just not as free and moves more slowly. And then we have the tilt, which is this direction, like up and down. For this, we've got this knob here on the left hand side and we adjust that again to just how much tension, how much drag we want. So if we go minus to give it a lot less tension, make it freer, then you can see, well, uh, really, really loose again. If I tighten it up, plus direction, there you go, I'm applying tension. It's moving smoothly, but it's not moving as quickly. So you can adjust the tension on both those to get what you want to your liking. You've also got the ability to lock it. So no, ma no matter how much drag, how much tension you've got, you can have it unlocked or locked. So for your panning orientation, that way, you've got this little knob here on the front of the head and you'll simply turn that and lock it in place. And now if I try and move it, it's not going anywhere. For the tilting option, you've got this, this knob here on the right hand side. Okay, so when we're unlocked, we're tilting. Again, depending how much tension you've got, it doesn't matter. When you wanna lock it, just turn that, lock it in place, and it's not gonna go anywhere. We've also got a spirit level in there, which is fantastic. So when you're setting it up, particularly for filming, it's not so bad for stills, you can get away with it a bit. But for filming, you need everything to be as level as you possibly can for when you're panning. So do check the spirit level, make sure that you've got it bang in the middle or as close as you can. If you are thinking of buying this fluid head through Amazon, then please consider using the link below. If you use that link, then you'll buy it in exactly the same way, it just means that I get a very small commission on the product. We've got this handle here, which is part of the tripod head, uh, primarily because it's for video, really, for filming. Uh, it's on the left-hand side at the moment, but I can actually put that on the right-hand side. You can have it on whichever side is better for you, which feels more comfortable. So we can take this off, and we can put it on the right-hand side. There you go, we've now got it on the right hand side. So really it's whichever feels more comfortable to you. 
So I'm actually using the handle usually on the left hand side, that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's really good for stills because it keeps my right hand free to operate the controls and the shut button and then if I need to use the manual focus ring for some reason I can use the right hand as well. And for filming, um, I thought I'd be much happier with the handle on the right hand side but I'm actually getting very used to it on the left so I think it'll probably stay on the left hand side for me. It's worth mentioning about potential uh, vibration from this handle. If you watch uh, Mike Lane's video, Mike Lane did an excellent review on this tripod head. I know a lot of my viewers watch his bird photography videos as well. Now he had an older, an older fluid head um, and it was really good, really solid and he didn't get any vibration. But with this one, um, he found that he got vibration whenever he put his hand onto it. And yes, I think that is true. Yeah, I think I've noticed that. So for myself, I don't find it a big, a massive issue I don't worry about it as much but I think you can get a bit of vibration if you keep holding the handle as you're actually filming so this is for, I mean not a problem for stills but for filming if you keep holding the handle I think it can uh, transfer some vibration and it'd be much better just leaving it and doing it hands off so I guess that would go down as a disadvantage, something I don't like about this. But really there's not too much I don't like about this fluid head at all. Uh, one thing I, I don't like is this, this screw here on the front, which is the locking mechanism for if you're panning to completely lock it in place. Just find it a bit awkward to get to. So if you do it with your right hand, you're kind of going around the front, well, whichever one. You've got to kind of go around the front and I find it a little bit, a little bit awkward. Um, not in the best place. And the other thing is it just seems really flimsy. So although I've not had any problems with it, this screw, it just seems really flimsy to me. Um, like it, it might break in the future. But as I say, so far I've had no problems. Another thing I don't like is this the bright red bits on it. I don't know why it's bright red, but I guess it's not designed for wildlife photography. It's designed uh, to do a job. So I don't like that, but you can just chuck, out, chuck over some netting, some green netting over it. It's not really an issue. And then the other thing I just, maybe I would say just it, it just is quite bulky it does seem a bit bulky to me uh, but then it's got to be bulky enough to support the weight of whatever you're putting on top of it I've had this head I think it's nearly a year now I've had it and I have used it a lot for for video I haven't used it as much as for stills photography because I was still using the gimbal head kind of alongside it um, and just trying both out uh, I've used it a bit more for stills lately and I've really not got any issues I just like the ability to move quickly and the fluidity of it this fact that you can change the tension I, I, I absolutely love I really love the wide base it feels really really solid which for me is just massively important particularly when you've got a very big lens uh, I like how quickly you can lock it in place the other thing to mention this is an important one is those locking mechanisms I've had issues in the past with um, with knobs for locking things in place that just don't stay and after a while sometimes they can kind of slip I know some of you will have this happen it just slips after a while and it doesn't stay in place as it as it should but I have not had that issue at all all the times I've used it and I've used it with the big lens these locking mechanisms for panning and tilting have just been really solid and that surprised me a bit because they just seem fairly basic like plastic looking knobs to me so yeah really happy so far uh, I'll use it more for stills and I'll try and give you a bit more feedback back on that I think they're going for about 150 pounds in the UK something like that uh, maybe you can pick up a second hand one as well so if you're in the market and you're looking for this kind of head uh, you, you know you don't want to spend a fortune then this one for a good fluid head I think is a really good option thanks for watching the video uh, if you're using this then tell me what you think about it please tell me what you like what you don't like or if you've got any other suggestions for really good fluid heads put those in the comments box below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time